know if this has literally ever happened inside of an Ipsy bag. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day. So as uh, you guys know and I know and everybody knows, uh, I have an irresponsible amount of Ipsy boxes. I have for so many years now. Evidenced by the stack that's behind me, the stack that's beside me, the stack that's in the closet. <laughs> but today we are trying to tackle some of my Ipsy issues with uh, doing a little unboxing here. So I have five. Oh wait, I forgot the Ipsy. One of the reasons I wanted to do this video in the first place is because I got my Ipsy box for this month. So we'll have Ipsy boxes from months past and then we'll have the new one all right one more to add to the stack here if i save this one to last and you'll build up the suspense a little bit i have no idea how many ipsy boxes i'm currently subscribed to ever since i had that issue with my card and by issue with my card i mean that i threw it in the dumpster and had to get a new one all right so i think we might have done another one of these boxy charms or a related box in one of our last big unboxings so this looks very familiar the little rem palettes i don't know if they're the same shades or not but it does come with the cute little like ufo packaging well, by golly, if that's not a fingerprint. I'm not quite sure if you guys can see that shimmery black shade, like right there, there's just, there's a fingerprint. I can see the lines and everything. Interesting. Anyway, <laughs> this one is actually a different color than the last one we received. This one's more of like a cool tone palette. The other one had a lot of like warm shades in it. These are pretty shades. They're not typically shades that I really wear. I like the warm tone palette more, but you know, interesting. We got like a blue and stuff in there. So different, different packaging. I think it's cute. All right, we have this perfume here that we just got from Rosie. Jane and it does have the scent of rose in it but a lot of people are saying that it's really not in a very intense scent so I think I might give it just a little itty bitty spray to see if I do like it that I, I fully missed the paper <laughs> that wasn't very itty bitty <laughs> I was trying to spray like just a little bit of it because I don't want to spray a bunch of stuff around Tater, but that came out pretty forcefully. Oh, that kind of smells good. I'm really not picking up on a really strong rose scent. It's kind of warm, a little musky. I kind of like that. Oh, definitely not at all what I anticip anticipated. <laughs> what I anticipated when they said there's going to be a sweet rose scent to it. I, I actually think that smells really nice. I'm glad I sprayed it. I'm glad you guys told me that it didn't smell too overpowering of rose. Oh, okay. I thought this was going to be another Selena Gomez as eyeliner. I was going to say, dang on it. <laughs> We're going to have to touch it again. This is a Persona 24 hour waterproof little eyeliner. Oh, there's two in here. Well, that's nice. Oh, I kind of like the packaging. The brown's a little bit different. So we have the shades brown and plum in here. Oh, I have a feeling that these are going to swatch really creamy. I feel like these are going to be nice eyeliners. Dual swatching action. Oh, they are. Those went on really nicely and I like the colors. They're a little bit muted, a little bit understated, but I think they're really nice. The plum is almost like a dusty plum, if that makes sense. There's like a bit of a gray tone to it, but I think these are nice. Following that, we have something from Ciate London. <laughs> this is a Vitamin Boost Plumping Primer. Oh, that's pretty. I like that blue color with like the shiny silver lettering. I think that looks nice. I wonder what... Shake well. I don't think I've ever seen a tube. <laughs> Should I say to shake it? I wonder what vitamins are in here to make you look plumper. Okay, I'm just speed reading, but I'm still not seeing anything about what vitamins are in here. Surely it's in the uh, little ingredients or something, but you know, I don't really wear primer too much, but I have been going ham on my skincare. I have been doing a whole skincare routine morning and night <laughs> and night. I'm actually pretty proud of myself for that one because I hate getting ready for bed, but my skin has been looking a lot better and feeling a lot better. And then last but not least, we have another Kovas Fairy Dust Pressed Highlighter. We did get another one of these in that last unboxing that we did. Moonlight and Star Kissed. I wonder if these are different shades. <laughs> Shaking. Evening primrose oil and artichoke? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? It's a one-of-a-kind formula. I bet it is. I've never seen a highlighter with artichoke in it before. Rich with artichoke leaf extract and evening primrose oil in shades that adjust to your skin's undertone. Ew, and amplify your natural radiance. Well then, that's really interesting. I definitely didn't read that last time that we opened this up. It does look like the same shades though. Now I kind of want to swatch it because I, I want the artichoke leaves to make my skin pretty. Oh, you know what? Those are actually really nice. They're not glittery at all whatsoever, not dusty even though the, the name says dust. They really do meld into your skin really nicely. The golden shade up here might be a tiny touch dark for me personally for highlight, but maybe like lightly brushed over my bronzer to give it like a, a glow. That could be nice. Well, super interesting. I don't really see it, you know, changing shades or anything to match to my skin tone, but that's a, that's a unique formula for sure. Alrighty folks, one box down, several more to go. <laughs> now I am on the hunt for brand new subscriptions. So once we get through our whole stack of, oh, ah! 
I don't remember which way the blade comes out. Don't open it towards your hand into your palm. I really would like to get some new subscriptions here on the channel. So if you guys know of any, let me know of them too. We have another boxy charm here, Glow Your Soul. Oh, this is from January. Okay, that's it's this year, so that's good. Oh, these are actually kind of cute. First thing I'm seeing is a little set of brushes from Wing Me, but the little handles look kind of fun. Oh, they're like loose sidey looking. They're see-through. That is actually a super cute little handle. I feel like we haven't seen brushes like this before, at least in our subscriptions. I have an iridescent look to them and they're see-through. I think those are super pretty. I also like uh, this little part up here and all these years, I'd never learned what this is. Feral? A fer feral? And the shapes are super interesting too. Oh, and they're soft. And I kind of like these. Oh, and that we have something from Seraphine Botanicals. Very pretty packaging. This is a Geranium and Glow Blush and Highlight Palette. And if you guys hear some loud noise in the background, Jimmy is out there just showing that grass who's boss. It is spring and Jimmy's back at it. All right, the inner packaging looks the same as the outer packaging. And yeah, okay, just a very like kind of paler pink blush palette with a couple highlights in there. Well, a couple, I would say one that I would truly use as highlight and then maybe one as like a blush topper. All right, so next up here we have a brand I haven't heard of before. It's from Kopari? Kopari? It is a niacinamide and caffeine eye bright cream. What was the point? Like, why? Why are you gonna make this big old box for a product and like stick them over here in a little, like, little gel cell? I do like the color of this packaging though. That's really pretty, like seafoam green. So yeah, a little under eye brightening, deep puffing, dark circle erasing cream. Ooh, who the beauty? I'm still feeling like a slight burn from all the perfume I sucked in earlier. <laughs> this is an automatic lip pencil lip contour 2.0 in the shade Pinky Brown, which I feel like that's probably one of my favorite types of lip shades, Pinky Brown. <laughs> it's really in there. Okay. <laughs> like tweezer it out. Eh. <laughs> okay, that works. Skin, kind of nice, very aesthetic looking packaging. I like that. Yeah, that's so nice. It is a very, it's a, it's a pinky brown. <laughs> it is a very pinky brown. It has a little bit of like a warm tone to it, just a little bit of peach in there, but I think that's a nice shade. I guess I could try it on. I have nothing resembling <laughs> tissue anywhere. I got a slice of Kraft American cheese and some bubble wrap. Or I could just, you know, good old fashioned. I know it's lip liner, but I am going to color in my entire mouth with this. It's honestly kind of similar to my natural lip shade, just prettier. Oh, I actually kind of like that. It's a very subtle color. Like it doesn't, you know, it's not like in your face or anything. Kind of looks like my regular lip shade, but I think, I think it's nice. I like it. It definitely needs a lip gloss over it though, because it is a little bit drying. Uh, also thank you. <laughs> Thank you to everybody who has informed me over the past couple of days that the uh, lip gloss, lip gloss, I can't even do little quotation fingers, that I've been uh, putting on my lips and saying, oh, this might be, this might be expired. It's actually color changing blush. This is the blush. <laughs> this is a liquid blush. Thank you guys though. I have been wearing that for multiple days on my lips. Mm. Definitely feels a lot better with a little bit of lip gloss on there. You know, it's not intended, I don't think, to actually color in your full lip, but if you do, swap some lip gloss on there and feel a lot better. All right, and the last item we have in here is from Ofra. I used to be a huge Ofra fan. I still use their highlighter. This is their signature palette Lux. Ooh, yeah, I, I really like those shades. Those are definitely right up my alley. I love a nice warm eyeshadow shade. I think they're super pretty. Oh, the highlighter, Rodeo Drive. I think that's the highlight that I still use. Pretty, a very nice, usable, wearable palette. I think that's good. All right, so I think a decent second box as well. We have a little bag here next. Let's see what's in that. This one's already kind of open. Did I do that? I don't think I did. I don't remember seeing this bag. <laughs> Ooh, it feels different. <laughs> That, that's quite unique. That's quite a unique fabric. I don't think I've ever seen a fabric quite like it. It almost looks a little brainish. It also looks like a like a quilted satin. The zipper on here is precious. <laughs> it's a little gold heart that says Ipsy with a black bow. This is super cute. And this honestly, it might be like an Ipsy first. <laughs> We've been doing these videos for like eight years now. And I think this might be the first time I've ever received a makeup product outside of the bag that was so large and it wasn't like a sheet mask or a brush or something like that uh, that they had to put it outside of the bag because it wouldn't fit because of the largeness. Typically, every makeup product that Ipsy sends you is this big. Let's go ahead and look at the little bag here first. Yeah, this one was from February. It feels crinkly and weird in my hands. Ew. Okay, <laughs> so the first thing we have here is just an itty bitty tiny version of the Ciate London Vital 
vitamin boost not vital vitamin boost plumping primer so maybe that last box we got with us in it was also from february no it wasn't it was from december right okay they're from january and december not february so you know it's not super fun to get a product that you've already gotten potentially in another box from the month before inside your little bag but a tiny version of it <laughs> next here from real her we have a celebrate diversity matte lipstick it's in the shade celebrate diversity okie dokie <laughs> That's an easy one to remember. <laughs> Just a cute little lipstick here in a very vibrant shade. It's like a pinky purple kind of shade. Uh, maybe not my favorite, but you know, it's, it's cute. It's a little and cute. There's a lot of squeezy tubes in this Ipsy bag. Next up here, we have this squeezy tube. It's kind of pretty. This is from Memoir. The body lotion and the scent wildflower. Oh, on the back, 50% off something. I do love a good coupon. Oh, I can smell it the safety seal and everything. That's kind of an intense scent. Yeah, flowery, kind of fresh smelling. I mean, it smells nice. And then finally, inside the little brain bag here we have one last squeezy tube oh all right this is a little bit different this is from born ruby first time hearing of that brand they are oh so natural blush drops sorry if you guys can see my hand shaking since i started my new medication like my hands just they tremble all the time this is in the shade peach charmeuse sounds quite fancy. Charmeuse. I actually, I have no idea what a charmeuse is. <laughs> you could tell me it was a dessert. I'd be like, yep, that makes sense. You could tell me it was a type of fabric. I'd be like, yep, that makes sense. You could tell me it was some type of brand of Canadian mousse. I'd be like, okay, yeah, it makes sense. Ooh, a little fuzzy top. It's a little bit different than I was anticipating. Uh, I'm really curious about this. Let's go ahead and give it a swatch. Ooh, that is quite peachy. It's very pigmented too, but it's supposed to be really natural. So yeah, oh my goodness. Look how much it blends in as soon as you start rubbing it. That actually blends in super nice. It doesn't look really packed or anything like that. I bet you could also build up the color too if you wanted. Oh yeah, it definitely builds on top of itself. So that's nice if you want a more intense look on your cheeks or, you know, a lighter look. And then finally, last but not least, I think this is a palette. I don't know if this has literally ever happened <laughs> inside of an Ipsy bag. This is a full-size eyeshadow palette. It says eyeshadow palette. I will be blown away if there is a full-size, like, four pan, nine pan, whatever it is, eyeshadow palette inside this Ipsy bag. Oh, it's even cute. It's round. Oh, that's a Adorable. This is the Pear Nova eyeshadow palette and those shades actually look really pretty. It says it's created to celebrate all skin types and I, I think those are nice. A little pop of yellow in there is different but I like it. It would be nice for summer. And this kind of like deep coppery shade is really pretty. I'm I'm, I'm kind of stunned. I'm honestly kind of stunned. Oh, it's just getting louder up there. I feel like he's just getting his engines revved up. Jamay! Weed wagon, it's so loud. But anyway, I'm I'm honestly kind of blown away. I'm not gonna lie. I, this is probably the largest piece of makeup I've ever received in a small Ipsy bag. This is, this is unprecedented. Ipsy, are you okay? Did you accidentally drop this into my mailer? Like, oops, oh, that was supposed to go somewhere else. This kind of makes up for the fact that most of the bag was just little squeezy tubes and stuff, but at least there's a decent amount of makeup with within those so we got a blush we got an eyeshadow a bit primer a lipstick and then a body lotion so a good amount of makeup and this oh this i did not mean for that to look inappropriate plus we got a fun little squishy brain bag this is the, the february is a good month all right i think this one is this an icon box or is it another boxy charm i'm not 100 percent sure almost said it again almost stabbed it straight into my palm oh it is another boxy charm okay <laughs> oh july of 2023 lovely <laughs> i just now got a notification denied charge for 33.91 for ipsy boxy charm this honestly could be a blessing in disguise that i you know, tossed my card into the garbage because i so far this month i've only received one box. I don't know how th this one still works when I have a new card, but it's fine. It's fine. All right, so this box here from July of 2023 <laughs> included a 10% vitamin C brightening serum from First Aid Beauty. I do like a lot of First Aid Beauty stuff, so I'm sure that's really nice. Oh, that's a nice little pumpy bottle. I do like that. I love it when the caps of products are attached, stuck right to it. I can't lose it. 93% of people reported their skin looked more bright and radiant. 98% reported this product did not irritate their skin, so that's, that's good. 91 <laughs> <laughs> 91 <laughs> this one I think is funny 91% reported this product did not <laughs> feel sticky or have a bad smell and the reason I think that is funny is because for years years I'm talking like back at the old filming setup years um I have we already opened this I have stated many and multiple times that a lot of first day beauty stuff smells like vomit it smells like vomit and I don't I don't know it's like an acidity to it that it smells so the fact that they're like, but this one, this one doesn't smell bad. <laughs> because 
funny. Ooh, this looks really fun. I like the orange packaging of this. It's a silk protein primer from Kat Berkey. Ooh, this seems kind of luxurious. Like this is a really nice component for the outside and the bottle is really nice. It's glass. It looks like Elmer's glue. And for some reason, I just assumed it would smell like Elmer's glue. It doesn't. <laughs> it just smells like skincare. It's supposed to be a satiny, airy cushioning primer that helps keep makeup in place extended throughout the day. Mineral sun filters offer effective protection against aging and UV damage. Mineral skin filters. Is there like SPF in this? It doesn't say there's any SPF in this. It doesn't give like a like a number like 30, 50, anything like that. So um, even though it says that it protects from the sun rays, I most definitely would still wear an SPF with it. All right, next up here. Oh, very interesting looking packaging again. Bold lip color stick. Ooh, okay. In the shade Divina Rose Nude. I would have already told you guys what the name is by now, but I honestly I can't, I can't read it. It's like really cool script stuff that almost looks like a, an, an anagram. Is that what that's called? Where you can read it upside down and right side up. Just quickly Google what an anagram is. Okay, nope, nope, not an anagram. <laughs> Word written upside down and right side Oh. Ambigram. Okay, it saw it's kind of close. It's an ambigram. I don't know if they're intending it for it to be that, but that's what it looks like. I still don't know what this daggone brand is. Rihanna Rebelid. Okay, it's not an ambigram either. It just, it says Renina Rebelid. That's a, that's a long tip. <laughs> so there is a little lipstick crown in here with a cool, quite a long tip to it. Again, kind of like a similar shade to that last lipstick that we got. Oh, this one's a little bit lighter though, a little bit more dusty. Clear brow gel. Oh my god, thank goodness. <laughs> I was almost out. If you guys have been around on the channel for a little bit, you know that's that's literally impossible. There's no way one person can go through 75 tubes of clear brow gel in that, it just in your lifetime. <laughs> but this is a clear brow gel from Wing Me. Like in the packaging, again, this is, it's just nice packaging hand sanitizer just but like a little bit just like a whiff of hand sanitizer Ooh, a big box in here we have a id.az dermastic gold fit mask it's like we have a few of them here oh so this little mask is separated into two sections so you can really get like a nice fit to your face Okay, this is a uh, product that's made in Korea and Korean beauty standards are different than they are here. So this mask says that it's whitening care and anti-wrinkle. I don't know what's in this to give it the ability to whiten your skin. I'm fairly certain in Korea they like a really kind of like porcelain look to their skin and stuff. Um, but that, that does make me curious what in here is supposed to potentially whiten the skin. Okay, not sure if that's that's my absolute favorite thing, uh, but there is one thing left inside of this box. Oh, this looks like it might be nice. Okay, so something else from Ciate London. They are honestly, you know, I kind of feel like they've taken over the wander beauty of the subscription box world. It stopped me for nearly a decade, um, <laughs> but now I feel like we basically just get Ciate London, Icon Beauty, that kind of stuff. This is a Brazilian Glow eyeshadow palette. I feel like there are gonna be really pretty shades in here. Again, nice packaging. For some reason, I'm just, I'm really liking all these kind of like muted tones, these nice earthy tones of all these packagings. Ooh, okay, yeah, very pretty. Pretty much exactly what I was anticipating. Just a very warm, kind of summery, bronzy looking palette, but there are some really pretty shades in here. I don't think I've tried a ton of eyeshadows from Ciate London, but I do like a lot of their products, so. I think this is a good item. All right, you guys. So this is definitely a throwback. <laughs> I don't, they don't even make this box anymore. Uh, well, I guess technically it's renamed to something else. The Ipsy Glam Bag X no longer exists. So this is this is probably a few a few months old. You know, just just a couple months. Where are all my things? <laughs> My cutter is gone, my opener is gone. <laughs> what am I doing with them? So the Glam Bag X is what the Icon Box is now. So it's curated by some famous person. This one was curated by Becky G. <laughs> In November 2022. <laughs> oh, that's when I got married, right? Yeah, that's when I got married. Okay, oh, well, I, you know, I was busy. <laughs> I was busy November 2022. That's that's the only reason this hasn't been unboxed yet and not my hoarding tendencies of boxes. Ooh, that could be useful. Very first thing I'm seeing in here is a setting powder from Anastasia. And yes, I don't care if this stuff is a few years old. The setting powder, it's been all wrapped up. It's fine. It's vegan, cruelty-free, non-comedogenic, dermatologist-tested, alcohol-free, and long-wearing. It's supposed to be lightweight. That's a whole lot of it. I'm, I'm kind of excited about this. <laughs> that's a whole big chunk of setting powder. I also like the packaging, the little lid's nice. 
Oh, <laughs> oh, okay. Next up in here, we've, we've done a whole segment on this little puppy, this exact little guy right here. Uh, this is the Skin Ink Sculpt Lift Bar, 24 karat gold. And at one point, Ipsy claimed was over $100. I, I feel like I need to go ahead and just look it up. Just go ahead and see how much they're saying. This is worth $125. Picture. Yeah, no, not even, not even a chance. <laughs> one of these guys uh, I found the same exact exact one 24 karat gold everything on a Chinese factory wholesale website and I think they're going for like a few dollars and they decided that they were going to claim they're worth $125 therefore like elevating the value of this box way beyond what it should be. And I think at one point they, oh, was this in their advent calendar? It was, it was in their 2024 advent calendar. They've been trying to scam us with this product since 2022. I'm gonna have to go back and look that up because that's a ridiculous claim. I think they sold them on their website at one point for like $10. It was a sale, they were on sale. Anywho, <laughs> moving along here. This is an ultimate hyaluronic acid resurfacing duo moisturizer. Now it says that this is good for 12 months after you open it. So I, have to, I haven't opened it yet, so it should be fine, right? It's not been that long ago. The stuff in the closet I might be a little leery of. I'll still use it if it's good stuff. Um, but this stuff, I'm sure it's fine. Ooh, nail polishes from Lights Lacquer de Mini Perati. I was really trying my best to grow up my nails and I was gonna like paint them and put a bunch of growth serums on them and try to get them strong and stuff again. But I just do so many like arts and crafts <laughs> with my nails all the time, especially with the renovations at the store coming up. Like they're just gonna be digging into stuff. I might have to put my nail growth journey on hold for just a little bit. Oh, this is Lights Lacquer. Is this from, is this from Kathleen Lights? I'm not 100% sure if that's her brand name, but I remember her having a nail polish line. I wonder if it is. Grab those engines, Jimmy. I'm Googling, it's fine right now. <laughs> Re and Buddy, did you find you a nice cozy seat inside of the donation box? I was gonna donate that pillow and all the stuff in the bottom. Is it cozy? Maybe I can make you a little doggy bed out of some of our cardboard boxes. You can curl up in it. I got fully distracted by Ren climbing into the box behind me. What? I was Googling something, wasn't I? Oh, Kathleen Lights. It is Kathleen Lights brand. That's, that's it. So this is from her brand. Um, I've never had nail polish from her before, so that's fun. But and they're probably gonna be a little bit separated. They are, okay, but that's not too bad. Let me give them a little jingle jangle here real fast so you can actually see the colors. So we have some very, again, kind of earthy muted shades. These are the very popular shades this unboxing. I think they're pretty though. I think these would make very nice, like kind of fall time shades for the nails. Let me know if you guys have ever tried these out before. I'd love to know if they stay on really well, they wear well, that kind of thing. Oh, okay. I'm kind of interested in trying this. I have been seeing magnesium all over the TikTok. It's it's everywhere. I see people with their feet up and just spraying it on their feet, just dousing themselves in magnesium. And apparently it's supposed to help with like a ton of stuff. This is from The New Co. It says you're supposed to spray 12 sprays onto clean skin. It doesn't say necessarily it has to be on the soles of the feet. I don't know if that's just a TikTok thing. It just claims to be a soothing, massaging body spray. So I'm guessing they can't actually claim it has any health benefits or anything. But according to TikTok, <laughs> which you know, I'm sure the best information comes from the TikTok, it's supposed to help with a ton of stuff. This actually does smell really nice. It has a nice lavender scent to it, very relaxing. All right, I didn't want to give in and buy it off TikTok, even though <laughs> I'm gonna do a video of all the stuff that TikTok did make me buy. But I am kind of interested in trying it out. So I will give this a try. I'll let you know if I suddenly am just healed <laughs> from the magnesium spray. Next up here from Artist Couture, we have a Love Sprung palette. I, I don't think I've ever heard of that brand before. I like their packaging. The, the text on this reminds me a little bit of like Juicy Couture. Ooh. Okay, it's a very kind of simple package, but I like the rounded edges and kind of like this beveled side here. I think that's cute. Oh, I thought it was gonna be an eyeshadow palette, but it's actually a face palette. Couple little blushes there. We got a bronzer in the center. I kind of like this baby bloom shade here. At the end, it has a little bit of like a purpleness in, in the blush and uh, I think that's nice. Next up from Stila here, we have a One Step Correct Skin Tone Correcting and Brightening Primer. Oh, oh, it looks like like yarn. <laughs> looks like little coils of yarn inside of there. That's really fun. I didn't anticipate that. I never use primer, but it look it, this looks fun. How they get that in there like that? All of a sudden I have like the urge, the need <laughs> to try out this primer. Oh, it kind of looks like one of those uh, big lollipops, like the spinny ones. And then finally, last but not least in here, we have something from Tarte. This is a Maracuja Juicy Lipstick and it's in the shade Rose. I really like, there's like a blue version of this and I really like those. Ooh, this one's very shiny and gold. I'm sure the lipstick version of this has a lot more color to it. The one that I typically 
wear is like a, it's kind of more of a moisturizing tint instead of a true lipstick. I do actually kind of want to swatch it. I wasn't going to because I didn't want to waste it, but it does look like a pretty shade. Oh, it is kind of pretty. A little, a little on the pinky side, but I do actually think it's pretty. Super creamy smooth, not overly pigmented. I think if you wanted to make this kind of sheer on the lips, you could or build up the color. So I like it. All right, you guys, last but not least, we have this month's actual box. Don't worry, there will, there will be timestamps down below in the description so you guys can just fast forward to this one if you just want to see what came in this month. This is the April 2024 Boxy Charm. I'm excited to see what's in here. Oh, I feel like we, we just got some masks from this brand. They must be really trying to push their product. But personally, I do like these. I think they're very relaxing, especially because I've been getting really bad headaches recently. So these are little like self-warming eye patches. They're just little eye masks you wear over your eyes and they get warm. And I think these smell typically like lavender and stuff. Oh, this one has a chamomile scent. So it can relieve migraines, tension headaches, dry eyes, and sleep problems. And I do really like how these feel. Just having like a little itty bitty tiny bit of pressure on your eyes with just some warmth on them. It feels really good when you're having a headache. You get five in this little box here. So I wonder how much these are just to buy them because I, I, I like these things. So I might want to repurchase them. I'm going to see if my friend, my I have a couple of friends that really, really suffer from migraines. I'm going to see if they would like some of these. Oh, okay. <laughs> I did actually pick out stuff from this box. I totally forgot about that. I did do customization for this box this time around and I picked this item specifically because I have been wanting really bad to try out a brown mascara. I might hate it. I might not like it at all whatsoever. I really do enjoy like super dark lashes. So brown mascara might not be the way to go for me, <laughs> but I just really wanted to try it. This is the No Chill Mascara from Lava, Los Angeles. It's a lengthening and volumizing mascara and it's supposed to be smudge proof. Ooh, I like the packaging. I didn't see what the packaging looked like when I picked it, but I think that's really pretty. kind of want to go ahead. I do have a little bit of mascara on my lower lash line, but I kind of just want to see what it's like. That was mascara-y. I do like defining my bottom lash line. I know some people don't put any mascara like on their bottom lash line. For me, my eyes look, I, I don't know, it looks like they've been cut in half or something. <laughs> it looks like I'm missing part of my eye if I don't put any mascara down there. But sometimes the black is just a little too intense. So I'm wondering if this brown will work out. It does seem like a fairly deep brown though. So it might actually work for upper lashes as well. I'm just, I'm excited to try this. Lost the tube. Oh my goodness, I think there are two palettes in here. That's snazzy. Uh, but next up we have a liquid eyeshadow shatter. Liquid eye shatter. That's how I start sounding. Like anytime I go to the country to see my family, that like Kentucky drawl comes out much <laughs> more intensely. <laughs> Tato's you okay? Our little Tato's having a rough time. He's having a real bad breakout right now. So we're gonna, we're gonna give him a nice little oatmeal bath tonight. But this is the liquid eyeshadow. It's it's pretty. It's like a light gold. Mishko, mishko. I feel like I've been getting a good amount of liquid eyeshadows recently or like shimmery eyeshadow like sticks and stuff. So probably won't swatch this one this time, but it looks pretty. And then we have two palettes in here. That's real fun. All right, the first one I'm seeing is from Alamar Cosmetics. They make some really pretty color eyeshadow palettes. We've gotten some in the past and the colors are typically pretty bright and beautiful. <laughs> Ooh, I'm excited to see what this looks like in here. Just from the back, those colors look really nice. What a fun little palette. Oh, there's a little slidey thing on the front. I love a good interactive <laughs> eyeshadow palette. And the palette opens up like this with a lot of really pretty shades. All that I've ever seen from them just looks really summery. Like these look like super summery shades. We got some like cool watery blues. We have some nice kind of sunshiny yellows. These are, they're really pretty. All right, just a couple little swatches of the glitters there. I barely dipped my finger into them. And you do get kind of a nice light shimmery effect from that. I'm sure if you really like worked it in or like patted it on top of a sticky base, or something those colors would really come through more but I think this is a really fun palette it's just a little bit different the way it's set up the way it opens the look of it I think I think this is cute alrighty and finally last but not least we have another bubble wrapped item this is from a oh, lunar beauty this is from Manny's brand so we got something from Kathleen Lights there's something from Manny some more like OG beauty youtubers oh Ooh, pretty. Can you guys see? Like, the, it's it's puffy. <laughs> Can you see how it, like, stands up from it? That's so pretty. Oh, I really like that. This is a Moon Prism blush. Okay, so the inside looks fairly, you know, standard for blushes. A, a nice selection here, though. We have some more deep shades, a little bit more warm shades. We have some lighter shades, so 
very pretty. I was kind of hoping we would open it up and like they would look like planets or something. <laughs> but the packaging is beautiful. I love that. Can't stop touching it. Okay, so, so that was the final thing inside of this month's BoxyCharm. I don't think they're going to give us many prices, but I can see... They do tell you the price of the power picks, but I don't think they tell you the price of everything. So the Lunar Beauty Blush Palette is $35. Wow, the Pretty in Paradise All-in-One Face and Eyeshadow Palette. Oh, that's not what we got. We didn't get that. Okay, <laughs> never mind. Scratch that. And I guess that's the only price they're going to give us in here. But you know, the BoxyCharm cost like 30 something bucks. This was whatever price. What did I say? <laughs> whatever price I said it was. $35. So your money is pretty much right here in this palette. I think this was a pretty good box. I, I I did enjoy a lot of the items in here. Love that we got two different palettes. One was a blush palette, one was an eyeshadow palette, both a little bit different, both very cute packaging. So yeah, I approve. I do approve of this boxy charm. Somebody actually just asked me in the comments, like if I had to pick a subscription, which one would I pick? And I said like, even though I've had so many problems with Ipsy in the past, I've had so many, you know, gripes with them. I do really enjoy boxy charm. I think out of the makeup subscriptions, the price range isn't terrible. I think it's like, what did I say? and denied the charge $31 and something which for a box with free shipping is not that bad and you get five full-size items so if I'm gonna pick like a makeup subscription I'm gonna pick BoxyCharm even a BoxyCharm owned by Ipsy I just feel like you get probably the most bang for your buck out of that subscription versus like the Ipsy bag or even the icon box it's a little bit on the pricey side if you're looking for most like makeup for your dollar I would, I would go with BoxyCharm. All right, you guys, that is all I have for y'all today. Thank you so very much for watching. Please go ahead and consider subscribing if you would not mind. I would love to try to get to 500,000 subscribers. I just think that would be a fun number. So if you'd like to stick around and go through more boxes, go through having calendar season again, uh, it would mean the world to me and Rin, who's in the box, and Tater, if you would subscribe. Just thank you again for watching and I hope you guys have a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day. Bye. Bye.